Hi lovers of beautiful things, it's your girl, Nature Bibian. You can call me BB, Bibian, baby girl for life. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is what you can call me. <laughs> there are many names, but just call me BB, Bibian, baby girl. Yeah, 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 you know. You know i love this type of names so welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel as well like the video share so today this is another episode of just gist and talks because what i do in this channel is just is to gist you guys and talk with you guys as well so today i want to talk about how it feels like to be a nigerian in Nigeria like what will I use which which sentence will I use okay I think Nigerians in Nigeria like we are smiling through the pain at this moment everybody is smiling through the pain to tell you how hard things have become in Nigeria like it is so hard right now to like it's so hard right now to even make a 1000 naira even when you make that 1000 naira like you you can only buy one thing with that 1000 naira and that money is finished it's finished otilo like it is so so bad that if now you can't even get a decent house for a decent price everything is so costly very expensive now in nigeria it is so so costly agents mm, they will add their own percentage like agents now they don't even take their normal five percent or temper they now take 25 percent of whatever that you are paying which is crazy it's so so crazy people are trying to survive things are not going well for us and then the agent house agent wants to now peel us like they want to buy like us the innocent ones that are trying to make ends meet like things are so hard now for average nigerian like things are now so hard for a middle class nigerian family nigeria individual it is so so hard for people now in nigeria so trust me if there's a way that you can support nigeria in any way please come if it is money that you can give to nigeria people please come and help the poor masses people are dying people are getting depressed day by day and it is not getting funny like it is not getting funny trust me like where i stay i see even like i see people like wake up early in the morning come out get a seat sit down start asking themselves like what next today so you want me to go back to the market and then i'll not have any sales you want me to go to the market and then by tomorrow if i sell this 100 naira today tomorrow it have added money to 200 naira like people are getting deeper people are like this is not funny this is not funny anymore like we are tired if there is a way that nigerians we need to come together and put an end to this suffering then please let's do it we are tired we are suffering cost of living cost of things they, they are just skyrocketing at the end of the day our minimum wage is thirty thousand naira. that's crazy like i feel like crying because a lot of people are going through shit i'm going through shit because i am also an, an average nigerian um, individual that is trying to make ends meet but yet the ending is not meeting. They're just like two walls apart. It's crazy because if we don't do thing, if we don't do anything about this economy, this bad economy right now, it's going to skyrocket and pff, Nigeria will never remain the same. Trust me. I had a friend. There are two of my friends that I made last year. These, these um, boys, 
I won't call them boy. They are men. These men, they came to Nigeria. They are like they are Ghanaian. They came to Nigeria for a better life because you know Ghana is not that different from Nigeria. You know, all of us we are suffering through the economy, <laughs> but now Nigeria is now worse. So they they came to Nigeria. I think 2022, as of November time you get so as of that last year 2023 things were so bad these children can't keep up they were like man if things continue like this they are going back to ghana so i was trying to like you know make them to see reasons to like stay back in nigeria but man things are hard these children are getting minimum wage and the minimum wage that you get here, thirty thousand, it's not going to end you. Like you are not going to just give yourself one week. That thirty thousand no till you don't finish. So how will these children survive? How we dare? How like they are not even saving? They don't even have savings. Amor, so that is when we entered, we now entered like this 2024, these children went back to Ghana, they said no, they cannot do what it's in this Nigeria, they had to like put money together, go back to Ghana. So I don't know if it is better in Ghana, so I'll know if I'll start coming to Ghana or... <laughs> I'm suffering here guys, things are hard. I know it's hard for you as well, you get like price of fuel skyrocket. We are suffering through the pain. See heat. I have heat all over me. I'm dripping of sweat. And Nepal people will not give us light. That's, they won't give us light. And they expect us to laugh through the pain. I say, yeah, oh, it's government that is doing it. Even though there is government that is doing it, man, we have suffered. If there's any way that government is going to do something about this, they have to do something about it. We are suffering. Nigerians in Nigeria are suffering. We are. If they don't know, if they want us to spell it out for them, they want us to like come out and start shouting, then we would do that because we are suffering in Nigeria. We need a way forward, not a way backward. Which we are going, we are going backward instead of forward. Our second 2024 is going to be a year of betterment. It's going to be a year of goodwill, good things. But it's like it's turning worse and worse and worse. And we don't even know what it is, what is to come in the future, which is crazy. So even to think about the future, be still being in Nigeria, it scares me. It scares me to stupor. It scares me like... <sighs> So please and please and please and please and please. It's crazy. It's crazy. I just want to tell people out there that are in Nigeria, and you're in Nigeria, and you're in Nigeria, please take heart. Continue struggling. We pray that things will get better for us. We pray that things will get better for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because... If it doesn't get better for us, trust me, a lot of people are leaving Nigeria. Like by like this year won't even pass, they will leave Nigeria. Trust me. It is not getting funny anymore. It is not. Do you know how much fuel is now? Per liter? <laughs> God. Do you know how much bag of rice is now? Do you know how much just one noodles is now? Do you know how much an egg is now? Do you know how much bread is now? Do you even know how much water is now? Natural source of water. Do you know how much pure water, can water is now? You know how much it is. I know that you are out there and things aren't that smooth as it was back then things are like getting worse now but i want to tell you that continue doing what you know how to do best god will see us train this i'm telling you like he has to see us train this he's seeing us he's seen everything 
we are going to get through this alive we are going to get through this victorious we are going to overcome this storm because trust me this is a storm in nigeria and we are going to overcome it so thank you for listening to my just gist and talks please continue smiling through the pain we are going through a lot but please continue smiling through the pain don't be depressed don't feel the need to take your own life it it has never been it has never been good what if you are trying to take your own life and someone is planning on helping you so don't always think about positivity don't be negative you get don't allow this heat to affect your brain trust me even though it's too much i can feel it from here even though it's too much but please don't allow this heat of what is even happening of the like the heat of the weather to affect your brain the heat of what is happening in nigeria to affect your your mentality the way you think okay please don't be depressed out there god is with us we continue trusting in god we continue praying that things will continue getting better for nigerians in nigeria because it's not easy so if you're in nigeria and you are outside of nigeria please send money to your nigerian friends send money to your parents in nigeria things are not easy right now it is not easy for anybody right now so please and please and please and please and please reach out to your people okay reach out to your loved ones love you so much and please if you're in nigeria as well and you have source of income that gives you like stream you know, that gives you money please try and tell your friends about it as well so that they can be able to you know gain from it and so that will stop this poverty of everything in nigeria okay help your friends help your neighbor love your neighbor as yourself and god will continue blessing you in everything that you put your hands in please thank you for tuning into my channel it's your girl bbn i hope you enjoyed yourself today please don't forget to subscribe like no <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my video and share this video